Hey, what's up, guys? I'm so excited that you guys have joined this afternoon, Changing Lanes, Sunday Sermons. So excited to be preaching the Word of God to you today. And um, thank you guys for all of those people who support me, all the people who watch this every Sunday, all those people who, who encourage me, all those people who are out there. And I'm, I'm just grateful for uh, the Word of God this morning, this afternoon. And... Let's get into it. I'm going to be coming from Matthew 12, verses 22 through 30. And uh, let, let's read that. Then one was brought to him who was demon possessed, blind and mute, and he healed him so that the blind and mute man spoke and saw and all the multitudes were amazed and said, could this be the son of David? Now, when the Pharisees heard it, they said, this fellow does not cast out demons except by Beelzebub, the ruler of demons. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they shall be your judges. For if I cast out demons by the spirit of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? Then he will pr plunder in his house. He who is not with me is against me. And he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. This is the word of God. Let's, let, let us pray. Father, I thank you, God, for your word. God, I thank you for your peace, God. And I just pray right now through this passage that we would be inspired, Lord, through this passage that we would be given direction and instruction by you only, Lord. I pray that you would just use me, Lord, however you see fit, God, that you would that you would speak your word, God. Any sense of me, God, you decrease that in the mighty name of Jesus. And nobody enters, leaves the same way they entered. And I thank you for it in the name of Jesus' name. Amen. So, guys, this passage is so relative to what's going on right now. That it says a house divided cannot stand. That in the midst of the world right now, there is a division. There is a, there is a division going on. There is a divisive. And here's the question that I have for us today. And this isn't, isn't probably is not going to be a long sermon. The question that I have for us today is, are we divided in the body of Christ because Jesus lets us know in this passage when when they ask him because of what they did in their thoughts that a kingdom that is divided against itself cannot stand so the question that I have for us today is are we as the body of Christ as the church are we divided are we divided it's it almost seems as if the enemy's kingdom is prevailing and the kingdom of god is not prevailing now we know that the kingdom of satan is already torn down because of what jesus christ has done but there has been division that we can see that has been going on division between politics but division between presidents, division between the pandemic, division. We're almost getting distracted and we are allowing the perception of what's going on to divide us from a kingdom reality that we have been reconciled back to God, that we were once enslaved to sin, but now we are free and we are sons and daughters of the Most High. That, that we have seen so many times in so many areas that people want to want to uh, 
put Trump Pence in their yard and put Biden Harris in their yard and we're being divided because of what someone chose to do in their personal life. That we're being divided. That when someone says that they're voting for Trump or when someone says that they're voting for Biden, we put up this wall and we're divided against ourselves. We're divided against the kingdom. A brother that you should call brother. A mother that you should call mother. Now you can't look at them the same but because who they're voting for. But because of them not wearing a mask or because them wearing a mask. Am I advocating voting for Trump or am I advocating voting for Biden? No, I am not. But what I am saying is the body of Christ is being divided over politics. The body of Christ is being divided over a pandemic. The body of Christ is being divided over even a sense of a job. Do, do we understand what is going on right now? We've mi missed the essential purpose. We've missed God. We've missed the Lord. That in the sense of, of division... And the sense of whatever it is that 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 we're that we're going in, we've missed God because of division. That we have been ripped away from what God wants us to be close with. We've been ripped away from community now more than ever. We can see division in multiple ways. We can see division in the kingdom over politics. And I know I'm saying that a lot, but I just want to stress that. Right now, to let us know that we cannot be divided over what someone chooses to vote or what someone chooses to do. Because here's the thing. Jesus Christ is the king. Have we forgotten that we have a king that reigns above it all? He is Lord over Trump. He is Lord over Biden. He is Lord over politics. He is Lord over the pandemic. He is Lord. Jesus Christ reigns above my situation. Jesus Christ reigns above this nation. Jesus Christ reigns above my circumstance. Jesus Christ reigns, reigns above who I vote for. Jesus Christ reigns above what I am doing right now. He reigns above it all. He is Lord. Earlier in this passage, we can see Jesus says, I am Lord even over, this, over the Sabbath. I, I am Lord even over the Sabbath. Jesus Christ lets us know that it is good to do healing on the Sabbath. And Jesus Christ is trying to let us know that a kingdom that is divided against itself will not stand. So my question for you today, are you dividing yourself from the kingdom of God over something that is unnecessary? That we have put all of our trust in who we're voting for and we haven't put enough trust in, in the king that reigns above it all. Do you not understand that we have a king? And if you don't know that we have a king, we have a king and his name is Jesus Christ. That it doesn't matter who's in office. It doesn't matter who's not in office because the will of God is going to get done. He doesn't need a certain president in office to do his will. And I'm reminded of the story in Nebuchadnezzar when he wanted everybody to bow down to him. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego rised up. And they didn't bow down to him. And they tried to throw them into the fiery furnace. And, and they tried to kill him. And, and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had enough faith and enough boldness in the Lord to tell them, we're not going to worship you. We're not going to bow down. We're going to worship our God and de declare that that our God is is the God of Almighty. He reigns above it all, and we're not. And even if we do die, and He doesn't save us. It wouldn't. It's not because of you or what you did. And they went into that fiery furnace, and 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 they trusted the Lord, and the Lord was in their midst. That He saved them. That not one scar was on them. That that not one one uh, sense of skin was burned. And I just want to declare to you guys today, are you dividing yourself over something that's not even necessary right now? Am I saying not to vote? No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I am declaring to you today is are you allowing who you're voting for and who's in office to dictate who you love and who you don't? Are you allowing those Trump pence or those Biden Harris signs to divide you from the body of Christ. 
And I'm just declaring to you right now, we have to understand that we have a king that reigns above it all. A king that is Lord of Lords, King of Kings. So the first thing we can see that, that Jesus says that a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. So we as the kingdom, we got to rise up. We got to be together. We got to join together. We got to be in community together. We got to love people no matter who they're voting for. No matter if they're wearing masks or they're not wearing masks. We have to be in the midst of community. And the second thing that I can see that is going on right now is that there are people in the church that are hurting. There are people in the church that are struggling right now. They're the same person that you can see praising the Lord, that is praise dancing in church, that is giving God praise during the week, there are depressed. Some of, some of, some of us, we are suicidal. Some of us, we don't even know we want to live for tomorrow. So we as the body of Christ, we have to check in on, on, on our brothers and sisters in the faith that so many people are, are longing to want to belong to something. We have to share our faith with people. We have to check in on people. We have to be willing to evangelize to the lost. We have to be willing to preach the gospel to those who haven't heard the word before. That the body of Christ is divided because of false reality of what's actually going on. We think people are actually well off, but people are actually struggling right now, hurting right now, depressed right now, suicidal right now. And if we would just stop leaning on what we think the main pastor of the church should be doing, and we would activate our faith to check in on each and every believer that we should activate our faith to reach out to the person that we haven't reached out to in a long time, this would make a difference. We can't wait on the pastor to reach out on every individual. We as a body of Christ, we have to go out and we have to reach people. We have to talk to people. We have to pray for people. We have to show people that we are there for them. And guys, I'm just declaring to you right now in the midst of it all, don't divide yourself against the body of Christ. That I get it. There's a lot of hateful things that uh, Donald Trump has done. There's a lot of hateful things that Joe Biden has done. But it ain't about it. It is not about Joe Biden. It is not about Donald Trump. But it's about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He reigns above it all. We are called to represent Christ in all areas. And my question for you is your support, is your willingness to be so for a candidate dividing you against the body of Christ? If your fear or not fear of the pandemic is dividing you against the body of Christ, what does that say? That there have been many people saved through this pandemic. And that's amazing. But there have been some who've left churches. There have been some who, who've left. You get what I'm saying? It, there is a hurt going on in the world right now. And going on in our nation right now. And people need Jesus more than ever. They need him more than the next check that they're getting on Friday. They need him more. Then gas you need in your tank because you're on E right now. They need them more than a fresh haircut <laughs> to look good. They need Jesus. We need Jesus. I need Jesus. We all need them. So I'm declaring to you right now to not be divided, body of Christ. So if you're looking at anything that I said and you're looking at about what's going on, and you're like, man, I have been too for candidates. I have been too for politics. I have been too far ahead. Lean back and love your brother and sister just because they're voting for somebody or just because they're choosing to, to do a certain thing doesn't mean you have to divide yourself against them. Doesn't mean you have to have malice in your heart towards them. Doesn't mean you have to hate them. Doesn't mean they're not saved. We have to use this as a ministry time to, to be reconciled to each other because we need each other. The body of Christ, the kingdom of God has to stand stronger than ever before. So we got to get up out of our seats and we got to stop dividing ourselves over things that, that are not even that important. 
So guys, we talked about the division. Are you dividing yourself against the body of Christ because of either politics, the pandemic, whatever it is? And secondly, have you checked on people who are hurting right now? Have you reached into people? Don't just uh, take it upon the pastor to reach out to people. Don't just take it upon society to make things right. But we're called to be the light. We're called to be a footstool. We called to, we're called to do all these things. And I just want to declare to you guys today. Don't be divided. Lean on Jesus. He doesn't want his kingdom divided. Because a kingdom divided can't stand. And right now we need to stand more than ever. Thank you guys. Thank you.